So, for my own personal blog, this winch. Alright. The very first one we bought that actually broke down, got replaced, parts been replaced, and they repair it for free. Though we bought another one, another brand new one, and that is not the one. That's um, the other brand new one. That one has also broke. So this is now the original new one that we bought, the very first one that has all been fixed. We have um, we've replaced the second one and put this very first one back on. And I actually only just noticed um, in the van is <laughs> the second one that we bought. And I just noticed that and I thought, hang on, how could I have forgotten? And here it is. Right there. So what we what was needed? We bought another spare parts like this, and um, yeah, this it uh, it's too oily. I don't really want to touch it. And those spare parts is supposedly to go just like this one okay to go into this other one so and here is the new parts we have two spare parts of that that's this one here and if you notice this new spare parts only have one piece of this thing here all right so for some reason this got us wondering why is it when um, if you can see the difference you see this one here, these two here, actually has two of those. So why is the new pieces, new parts only have one? Which is right there. See the difference? Which is these parts here. So those two get a touch just like this. That one on top of the other one with this thing in between somehow. And uh, yeah, so it got us wondering whether that is the reason why perhaps it's the fittings uh, is actually way too tight. We are not quite sure yet why they done it that way, whether that is the, the reason that we keep getting the problem. So the brand name, since this is the second time that we had this problem with this particular winch, I may as well give this a bad writing. So really it's just, um, I think I will give it only two writings, two star writings. I still uh, prefer giving it two star because it does do the job. And I... Uh, I kind of get the feeling that perhaps we are also uh, maybe we are part of the problem for how we are using this thing because we actually use this also to open the trailer which um, the very first time we done it it was not a problem it all worked out fine but then on site and it's, it failed to actually operate the way it was supposed to and um, which is making uh, I think it has something to do with this piece to actually break off and you can see the side there and all it's pretty bad but yeah it has been 
grinding somehow so the brand name of this winch have a look at it if we find it somewhere so I don't really entirely want to give it a zero writing or anything because it's actually do the job okay so this is the um, you can see the brand name So with all this crack here, this happens when uh, when it comes to winding, during the winding because obviously some problem already occurring somehow that um, when it is winding the, the string, originally it would just move along from side to side left and right as it pulls in but when it's already got some sort of issue with with this piece somewhere in here it's uh, grinding something which will then stop the uh, the strings from actually moving side to side as it pulls along the load and uh, so far we haven't really been uh, we haven't done a 12 ton or anything and the capacity of the pulling capacity of this winch is 12 ton so the most that we've done so far is only 10 and a half ton all right see that so it is um DC 24V and here is okay so that is to give you an idea what this winch model name so I don't know whether it's anything to do of um, Perhaps the tridy that might be put them together. I think uh, they probably put this together here when it arrives in Australia, I think. And yes, indeed, you know where this is made from. This is not Australian made. Huh? Supposedly from America, but you know what happens these days. Wherever you go, it might be made in America, but it's the parts and the whole components possibly is most likely to be made somewhere where? I, um, of course, China. I didn't want to say that, but maybe there's nothing wrong with saying that. I mean, I'm trying to give a writing. I'm not giving a zero writing out of 10 only three star only three writings is all i can give because it is not 100 percent performance so there you go ridiculous what else am i looking at you see this thing here yeah so this one here that happens that's actually cracked during um, the pulling when uh, when it pulls it keeps on spinning because it fails to go side to side as it goes along during pulling so what it does is actually eventually build up only on one area as it pulls so because it's doing that meaning it's pushing this one outwards and doing so uh, because of the how thick this piece is it would just push this whole thing out 
and that is the reason why it cracked and, and break out which happens on this side here that's actually uh, broke off entirely and this piece came off okay it's not really it's not affecting the the pulling or anything it's just um uh, the string would uh, eventually would just fall out slowly fall out if you don't ever notice it and that can just be catastrophic during pulling if you never ever notice that problem so anyway that is it that is all i have to say for you so three writing out of ten all right and that is the model of that.